What's up guys, it's Mike here from Mike's Cards and Stickers and today we are going to be opening another 20 packets of the England 2010 World Cup collection. These were the packets that were exclusively only at Tesco with 7 players per packet rather than the normal 6 because it included the 5 star international legend. So let's shift those over to one side, let's get opening. I've had some I'm filming a batch of videos all in one go here. We've had some pretty decent hits so far. A lot of Maradona's and Pele 100 clubs from the Tesco collection. Portugal midfielder. Is this going to be a Ronaldo 101? It's well, 100, should I say, but yes. Cristiano Ronaldo, 100 club. Excellent. Pretty good, only a few packets in. Zidane, international master. Not seen one of them for a while. Cannavaro, man of the match. Essien, man of the match.
be more. 100 Club. Excellent. Javier Mascherano, man of the match. And at the final packet, Thierry Henry, nice way to finish, one of the match. So that concludes those 20 packets and we did pretty well. We got Henri, man of the match, Mascherano, Bobby Moore, 100 club. Michael Essi in Man of the Match, Calvaro in Man of the Match, Zidane Man of the Match, and 100 Club Ronaldo. Excellent. So, now that they are out of the way, let's have a quick look at some of the official autograph cards that were included in this year's collection. Each year, Tops normally will include a selection of different autograph cards uh, in whatever franchise it is that they're doing, be it Star Wars, the wrestling, and in this case, what we're looking at today is the match attacks. Now, years gone by, previously, they would have the footballers uh, and the celebrities sign directly onto the surface of the card. And then a numbered hologram sticker would be placed in normally the top right corner. But as uh, the years have gone by more recently, what they've started doing is putting uh, stickers onto the cards where they will send out a sheet of the stickers to the individual who will be signing and they can sign however many sheets it is that they want and then they can get delivered back to tops and tops stick them onto the card and sometimes they'll put a small new updated hologram onto them uh, which has been sort of from about the 2014 world cup onwards uh, replacing the bigger uh, more grayish type hologram i'll bring some photos up on the screen so that you can see the difference in uh, how these holograms and the way that they've been signed has changed over the years. I mean, I much prefer ones where they're signed directly onto the card as to stickers because at least the writing is then directly onto the card rather than it just being a sticker sheet that has been signed multiple times. Uh, but that's a completely personal preference. So I've got three of the cards here, the official signed hologram cards from the 2010 World Cup collection. Now the first card that I've got is perhaps probably the most special of all of them because the the thought in the match tax card community is that this is the only one of this card and it was released in error. This is all only really speculation uh, and that it is the only one. I mean I've never seen another one of these surface um, so as far as I'm aware at the moment I have to take that it is the only one and it is a Cristiano Ronaldo 100 club from the 2010 World Cup collection. I'll just zoom in a little bit so that you can see it a little bit better. Uh, where he's signed onto the front of the card and there's the numbered tops hologram up in the top. And if I just turn it into the light, I'll just press it so it doesn't fall out, you can see that it says tops. It does also say tops authentic as well. Now this is one of my most rare match tax cards and it is undoubtedly one of my favorites. And uh, it sits pride of place on the, the wall uh, next to where I do my filming. Uh, and it's kept in an ultra pro clay case to keep it protected from the light. But yes, that's uh, believed to be the only one of those. And uh, I prayed a, a pity penny, penny to uh, acquire it. Also from the same collection is um, another very famous player. A player of time gone by, shall I say. Uh, now this card is is one of five, and this was given away as part of a Tops event competition, where you've probably seen the swap and play tours, and they do often give out prizes at them. And it is a Pele signed 101 International Master. Just take the lid off the case so you can see it a little bit better. I'll zoom in. 
you see he's obviously signed on the front and up in the top you've got the numbered hologram tops sticker so that you know that it is genuine another fantastic card and uh, I didn't actually have to pay too much surprisingly although it was still expensive it was not as much as what you would think it is considering that he is one of the most if not the most famous footballer that's ever lived and finally is another card uh, from the same collection another very famous legend um, who unfortunately left us recently uh, and this was also the same as the Pele card it was given out at competitions uh, and it's also one of five now this was the most expensive one that I've got because after he died after he passed away the prices of these went ridiculous and if you google onto if you go onto eBay now and search for this um, they're up to the thousands so I managed to nab one whilst at the time so I'm very glad and that's a Maradona card just take the uh, front of the case off and you can see he's signed on the card and he's put his Diego with number 10 and you got the tops numbered hologram up in the top I'll just zoom in as well onto that Tops hologram, so you can really get a see of how it looks. So you see, it says Tops. I'll just try and turn it in a way that you can see the authentic. Might just not be able to in this light, unfortunately. But so you can see, it is a Tops coded hologram. So they are the three side cards I currently own at the moment. I'll bring up some footage quickly now uh, from one of my previous match attacks videos I did years ago when I had a quite a lot more of these cards which I don't actually own anymore. Um, and like I say, they've done signed cards from all sorts of collections and uh, I think it's a great thing that, uh, that they include. Uh, I've never found one in packets and I probably, I bet you now I probably opened close to 3,000 packets of match attacks which is, for a 25 year old, is not a good statement to be making but... Uh, I've still yet to find one. So, uh, but if if you've got any signed cards, share them in the comments below. I, I always like to see what other people have got. And uh, as always, if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and drop a comment as well if you want to uh, get talking match tags with the fellow viewers and to subscribe as well. So, uh, thank you very much for watching, guys, and I shall see you in the next one.